Hello once again programmers, it's me, 19 Cups of Java. Um, last time we just painted the ball onto the screen, so I actually changed it to gray instead of red. Um, you can make it back to red, you can keep it as red if you want, but I like gray better. Um, I did a few moving around in here because I realized um, I made the ball before the screen was even made and that's going to cause some problems. So just move the ball before this and then also I'm going to add one more method in here because you need it. So game screen dot pack. This is going to pack the J panel into the screen. The J, J frame. Alright, and uh, that's it on this part. And uh, add this um, update method and put ball.move in it. Um, and put update in the run method. Alright, and then we're going to move to the ball class and we're going to add a few fields. We're going to add XV and YV, and these stand for X velocity, Y velocity. And then one last thing, private, final, final, int, and this is going to be width and height. And this is going to be the width and height of the, the J panel. So what we're going to need to do is put J panel in our parameters so we can get the width and height of the, the, um, the screen. So in here, put this because this class is the J panel. So now what we're going to do is first, well, no, we'll do this first. Um, width equals J dot get width does exactly what you think it does. Height equals J dot get height does exactly what you think it does. And we're going to add uh, a do while loop. And this is for, um, we're going to be setting up the, the velocities. And we're going to use the random class, which is included with Java. And basically, we're going to give it a random velocity every time it's created. So xv equals 0 and yv equals 0. And basically why I'm putting this do while loop here is because the random class, once we initiate it and stuff, um, it has a chance of going to zero. So we don't want our velocities to be zero. Otherwise, it's going to go left, right, or up, or down. So we don't want that. Just put random equals new random. So we have our thing, our uh, object random to use. And we're going to put xv equals r dot next int and this is where we put the numbers of how fast we want it so I'm gonna put 3 and then yv equals r dot next int 3 alright now let's see if it does oh whoops and then we gotta add x plus equals xv and the same thing for y and this is basically to get it to move around the screen like x, the location, plus x, e, plus xv is going to be the new location. So, alright, let's look at it. There we go, it starts moving. But now, um, but the only problem with this is it's only going in this direction, to the right. You know, to the right. So, what we're going to do is between these... We're going to give it an if statement. If math.random, and basically what this function does, or this uh, method, sorry, C++ jargon, um, basically what this means is we're calling a method to get a random decimal. So if, it's, if the random decimal is below 0 .5, 0 0.5, then we want it to make it go the other direction. And we're going to do this two times, so xv times equals negative 1. So when you times, you know, 5, you know, 5 times negative 1, it just makes it the complete opposite. 
so negative 5. So um, do this again, just copy it, copy. And the reason why we're doing this twice is because we wanted to have the same amount of chance for the other one. Oh, whoops. YV. There. All right. Now let's see it doing it. All right. It's going to the right. It's going to the right. There. Going to the left. There you go. Now, the only last thing I want to do is get it bouncing around in the screen. And how we're going to do that is we're going to do a lot of if statements. So if x is less than 0, then this means um, when it's less than this part of the screen to the left, then we want it to bounce. And how we do that is xv times equals negative 1. And then the same thing for y. If y is less than 0, we want it to yv times equals negative 1. All right, now we got two more. So if y plus area, so the entire width of the ball plus the top of it, is greater than the Actually, you know what? We don't even need this part now that I think about it. Because we want it. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. Sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking out of the box. And then put height. And then we're going to do yv times equals negative 1. And then uh, same thing for x. So if x plus area um, is greater than the width of the screen, then we want it to xv times equals negative 1. There we go. Now, it should bounce around the screen. See, there we go. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, next time, I'm going to get it to do the trail thing that uh, you see in my thumbnail, which I thought was really cool. But I'm not going to do it the hard way. I'm going to try to find an easier way of doing it. Um, but other than that, I think I know what I'm going to do. So... Till next time, programmers, um, please comment, um, rate, like, subscribe, whatever you want. Um, I'll see you next time.